Hey guys, Eddie P here from the BitCash crew. In yesterday's market update, Richie wore a really cool hat. This is the best I could do on such short notice. I am a big Yankees fan, which I do not apologize for. It's not as cool as Richie's hat, but um, what can I say? Anyway, let's kick off with today's review. All right, so I've lost the hat. Uh, hope you guys don't mind. And uh, let's kick off with Ripple. Okay, so with Ripple today, um, this is a pretty good lesson of when you don't actually want to be entering a trade. Basically, what you want to do is look at the market and uh, have, a, have a look at where it's heading, where it's trending, what patterns are forming, and look for the next good point of entry. Uh, for your your next trade now with cryptos because the bulk of them on the moment at least the ones that we're looking at We're looking for good bullish trades. We're not really in the business of trading on bearish moves but we're gonna have a little look at ripple what it's done over the past few days and um, and, and have a look at what it may do in the days to come so if we go back into a little bit of past history here we see here a couple of mini trends. So here we have a, a nice little turnaround point. We have a really, really big here, if you can have a look, uh, engulfing candle. So we've got a bunch of bullish candles, then uh, quite a large uh, bearish one, which is about twice the size of the bull one that precedes it, which is a pretty good indicator that you're gonna have a reverse in the trend. Um, then what you have here, if you go downward, is a, uh, a lower low and you have a lower high. So that's what I've, uh, I've put here with this little note, which is good because then you know you're definitely on a trend. And we have a, a little doji here, which is a pretty pretty damn good indicator that you're gonna have a reversal on the trend. And then right thereafter, then you have a uh, another large engulfing candle. So that, that's, a, that's a good indicator. But what you can see here is once you hit here, there's not a lot of really, not a lot of really, there's just not a clear trend. Um, and you have a lot of battling between the bears and the bulls and you see here price is sort of consolidating in this area and then we have another breakout. Um, once again, there's not a really good or clear entry point down here. Um, so this is another place to sort of just to sit out and that's the sort of lesson of today's chart uh, or Ripple's chart today I should say is when to um, sit out and wait for a good move. Now after that, the um, the bulls had a really good rally, and we have this huge bullish candle here, followed by um, a pretty decent sized bearish candle once we hit this um, major resistance line. And from there, um, we have the next move. So we have a little bit of a move here. Now we have a lower high, so we can draw a new trend line, which is represented by this purple line here. And we're heading south again, because the bears have taken over. Uh, we come down, we come down, we come down. We have a retrace where the bears have kicked back in. Uh, we have another lower high, but it didn't hit the resistance line. Now when that happens, you know that the market's decelerating. And there's just not a lot of volume. And when there's not a lot of volume, you don't necessarily want to enter that trade. Uh, main reason you don't, is if you enter in a market that doesn't have much volume, it's not really tending to go in any great direction, and your odds of being stopped out are pretty high. So with that said, uh, we have a turnaround point here. The bears have taken back over. We've hit this resistance point with this, this currency continues to, um, to keep hitting, uh, and that's why it's really important to mark up your charts properly so you know the historical points of the currency, uh, or the pair, I should say. Um, and then we have a, a rebound uh, all the way back to this trend line and then it comes back down again. But you can see here, I've drawn this trend line and it's meeting, pardon me, it's, uh, it's meeting uh, the, this major support line here. Now, because we have the, the trend going down and the meeting of support, the market's consolidating here again. So what we're really looking for is a new breakout pattern. Now you can see here I've stipulated not a lower low. The reason I've done that is if you don't have lower highs and lower lows or higher highs and higher lows, you're not in a trend. And if you're not in a trend, you do not want to put a single dollar into your trade because you're going to get stopped out. You don't know where the market's going and what are you going to do? So next up today, we have Litecoin. So cool. So with Litecoin today, guys, we've got a pretty good lesson in um, consolidation zones and also in management zones, uh, which is certainly a recurring theme and well, sort of across all currencies. Um, but um, certainly we find this a lot with crypto. So um, with Litecoin, if we look into the recent past, I'll just show you the difference here. 
this is a consolidation zone because you can see here a lot of fighting between the bears pushing down, the bulls trying to push up, and there's not really a lot of break it out of sight of this box, which is why we've put this as yellow, and then the blue one is for management. Um, now management, we see greater range of movement, but what we call this is, um, is a ranging market. And a ranging market doesn't have a clear trend, either bearish or bullish. So with a ranging market, what you really want to do is hang back and just wait for a clear trend to present itself. So you can look for a new buying or selling opportunity. So here we see a slight breakout of this management zone. Actually, it's not slight. The currency went quite a ways up, uh, but then it shot right back down and found its home back inside the zone. Um, but there's still no clear sort of entry point for, um, for trade um, because there's not a lot of clear trend. Uh, we see here there's um, a large, large bearish candle and there's another one, but then there's not really an entry point. Um, we see from here to here there is a higher, or excuse me, a lower low and then it rebounds, but it finds its home back inside the zone. Another key trading tip. Uh, right here you have what's called a railroad, um, these two candles which are, are pretty much the same size um, and that's a pretty good indication that you're going to have a reversal um, in the movement of your currency, usually the trend. Um, so you've hit this um, major resistance line here um, and then it, um, you see here it sort of played some games here with both candles on the top of your management zone, but then it broke back in. And you see here, all these candles are just messing with the top of this management zone, which has acted like a resistance line. Now from here, we see that price is heading back downward. Um, the candles do not have a lot of steam in them, which means there's not a great deal of volume in the market, which is another reason not to trend. What I'm thinking is happening, oh, you see it just candle popped up there. It's going um, very much bearish. Um, I think this one's probably gonna head south and um, we'll probably encounter the base of this management zone again. And then what we're looking for is another jump forward. Um, yeah, because we wanna look for a bearish, or excuse me, a bullish move. Um, this currency has clearly been on the rise for some time and we're just waiting for it to break out of this zone and then to head north once again. Excellent, so we will wrap up today's review with Dash. So with Dash, guys, just a, a couple of points. Uh, once again, we find ourselves um, in this management zone down here. A couple more sort of quick lessons about sort of the, the general bits and pieces about trading. The only time the currency looked like it was trying to make a bit of a trend is from here to here. You see we have a, a, a lower high, um, which is usually an indication that something's forming, but then currency broke out. The bears completely took over on these two pretty serious candles. Um, and then we find ourselves in this management zone down here and price is breaking out, breaking below just a little bit, um, but it's not making any grandiose moves. Um, we even see here, from this candle, this bullish candle, this one, there's um, there's not a, a lower high or a, um, uh, or a higher high. There's just nothing really to go by. The currency sort of middling at best and just um, sliding sideways. Now, when that does happen, once again, you want to just hang back and wait for an opportunity to present itself. With all the cryptos, this one as well has been heading um, mainly, mainly bullish. It's been on the way up for some time if you go back into the past. So we do not want to be looking um, at least this stage for a uh, bearish trend. We certainly don't want to trade if it's just middling around in this management zone. We sort of just want to sit it out, wait it out, and look for a new opportunity. Um, now hopefully we'll have a breakout and be heading north once again, but we need a clear entry signal uh, and we need a trend to form before we start to, um, to put our money back into this marketplace. Hey guys, hope you liked today's review. I thought I'd put my Yankees hat back on to say adios. Um, yeah, so um, Richie's gonna be here tomorrow, probably with another cool hat. Um, <laughs> if, you, um, if you guys have any questions, please um, post a comment in the feed below. Uh, we love to hear from folks and to answer questions and to get into discussions. And um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll give you an update uh, this Thursday. And until then, stay safe, stay well, adios. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching today's episode. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button below and also the notifications button so you don't miss out when the next episode comes out. Also, follow us on the Facebook, get amongst the discussion over there, and also follow us on the Twitter. That's where Richie posts all of his badass trades. You don't want to miss out. See you soon. What a wonderful world.